What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your one and only Wing Wing Man as I talk about week three's victory of the Philadelphia Eagles as they beat the New York Giants 27 to 24. So let's sit down and get into it, man. Holy crap, that was such an insane game. I just literally just picked up my heart and I uh, just literally just had to do quick surgery and put it back in my chest because that moment when Jake Alien hit that 61 yard field goal, a rookie that we just picked up from the Cincinnati Bagels, who, by the way, missed a field goal earlier, which I think was what, 54? Which was like 54, 53? And was able to come back into the game to kick a major, big, big winning field goal. Uh, was astounding. That was crazy. Honestly, I literally was praying. Uh, I was literally praying to the gods, to God, literally, uh, <laughs> uh, for that game. Oh my God, I was just anxious and nervous. I honestly didn't think that was going to go in, and by the grace of God, that God gave that boy enough leg strength, enough distance, and a good trajectory to get that ball into the uprights, given us the victory over those sneaky, pesky giants. So that being said, let's talk about some of the positives. Other than that, ladies and gentlemen, we have a running game. And we also found this guy. Window Smallwood leading our rushers was actually was 12 carries, 12 carries, 71 yards. And after that, it would be LeGarrette Blount was also 12 carries with 67 and a touchdown. Honestly, um, uh, Peterson did a far better job running the ball, um, which was really, really good, honestly, against a new, a, a Giants front that is actually pretty good against the rush. However, before going to this game, actually gave up 153 yards in rushing. So the fact that I think, honestly, people were a little bit worried, okay, do we really bring the running game back? Because honestly, I was a little bit worried too when I heard about those numbers. Um, when I heard, but I mean, even though it was those numbers, they're still a very good defensive front, you know? They're a very respectable front. So again, I was a little bit worried with the rushing. However, the running game actually came out pretty live and well. Even Chloe Clement, who only got what? A couple of, only a couple of carries? got his first touchdown in the NFL. So good for you, Corey Glenn, man. Um, another shout out to is the defense. The defense, oh my God, uh, Schwartz, man, has just done such a great job with this defensive line. Um, I mean, uh, granted, I mean, they, they, they done, they, they've held up long. Granted, it, it started to fall apart a little bit because then we started to lose guys like Fletcher Cox and Jordan Hicks uh, as the game kind of went on though. But, uh, you know, the defense was doing their best until, and then unfortunately, the, the floodgates started to happen. And, uh, you know, eventually Odell Beckham eventually started to get his in the game, got actually two touchdowns to the game, and um, also decided to give his best impersonation of Lassie the dog. Uh, so yeah, good for you, OBJ. Uh, you know, Mr. Pro Bowl. Uh, it's great that you show class, and it's good that you've uh, been there before. So, stay classy. Uh, Carson Wentz played okay. Um, he wasn't really super astounded in the game. Um, you know, a lot of, he also, you know, along with Eli Manning, did a lot of to get down, check down plays, a lot of underneath um, against the against the Giants defense up front because also, well, they're very, very good. So there were a lot of check downs. Uh, we really couldn't throw the ball in this game. This was all the running game. Now let's sit down and talk about a little bit my, uh, about my disappointments of this game. Uh, Doug Peterson's play coach, coaching is very, once again, suspect in this game. Going on a four and eight, knowing the fact that you had the momentum uh, against a Giants team that came into your building very desperate, wasn't looking good, couldn't get anything going in terms of the passing in the running game, and you decided to go for a four and eight because you thought you had you had the momentum instead of just simply kicking the ball and trusting that your defense would do its job. Very, very suspect play. Another thing, again, is the running game. So, which was weird because, you know, uh, me, 
uh, fans out there, the Philadelphia fan base, the media has been crushing Doc Peterson to run the ball and run eventually. He ran the ball! Until there was a point that he stopped running the ball. Uh, especially, yeah, I, I really don't understand that. Le you know, LeGarrette Blunt was going, he was building that momentum. Um, he was looking very, very good, and then there would be once again moments where he would pull him out. He would pull him out. This guy was, oh my god. But when, when you're running back, is has that lather and has that momentum and he's breaking tackles and he's carrying five and ten defensive men on his back you keep on feeding him the ball and things would good will come out of it again exactly what we talked about in week two with Kareem Hunt you know he would get stuffed and then boom will hit you for a 14 13 yard even one for a touchdown and I'm very happy that they actually did a very good good job of getting pretty much all of the running backs in this game but uh, again when things got good and got good and going for the running game he would pull it back he really needs to under uh, understand the flow of the game i swear to god it's kind of those mistakes where honestly i it, i just felt like there was just moments where Doug Peterson tried to give that game away to the Giants because he kept on letting them hang around. Uh, luckily, um, he wasn't the only one trying to sabotage the game because uh, his opponent, coach, in Mr. Ben McAdoo, uh, was also trying to get the Dingbat Award. Uh, that being said, man, holy crap, it's a really, really crazy win. It's a win that I'll sit down and take again. Uh, play calling is still a big, big question mark going into it. Again, it's three games where, as an Eagles fan, you just, you're taking the wins. I'm very happy about the win, but also deep inside, um, these, these, these wins, um, the, the play calling, um, the fact that Doug Peterson still, after three games and being a head, you know, second year head coach, still has a trouble feeling the momentum the flow of the game and how things are going and how to make right play calling and uh, granted yes it, it has been a pretty decent show defensive wise again as the season goes along um, the odds can only catch up to you the odds are eventually going to catch up to us if the Peterson can keep get that figured out because uh, next week in week four we are heading out to take on Mr. Philip Rivers and the Chargers and I can bet that guy is probably licking his chops and looking at our depleted secondary ready to rack up 300, 500 yards uh, with his wide receivers and score touchdowns all over the place and stuff like that. So that is it. For my recap of week three, it's Philadelphia Eagles, man, tell me what you thought about the game. Holy crap, it's an insane and crazy game. Please, please follow me on my Facebook page, Green Ring Man, and also my Twitter page as well. I would love that. And also put a comment down below and also like and subscribe my YouTube page as well. I would totally, greatly appreciate that. Until then, here's your one and only Green Wing Man. And to the lovely people, the Philadelphia Eagles Nation, you guys stay fly.